to tell you a little bit about how to make a good pineapple on a good one smoker. I'm going to make a sauce to put on it. What I've done is I've melted some butter here. Just one stick of butter. We're going to add a cup of brown sugar. And we're going to we're going to cook this for a little bit after we make it. But you got to be careful not to burn the sugar. Because it'll burn really quick. So you got to stay with it all the time. So we're going to use a teaspoon of cinnamon. A fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. And an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. You gotta be really careful with this really strong. Basically, that's our sauce right there. The last ingredient that we want to put in there, you can use several different kinds of liqueur. This happened to be using uh, a rum vanilla. Three tablespoons of that really complements the well done. Really complements the pineapple. Put two beer, almost three beer can chickens in here. Most of the alcohol cook out of this. And that's the sauce. We're going to put it on the back of the smoker and cook it for a little bit, stirring it often. You can use a clarified butter if you want. Uh, it kind of separates the fat. I think it's fine either way. Alright, time to cook. Cut the pineapple, prepare it. Usually it takes a pretty long knife to do this. Put the pineapple with the stem facing towards you. What we're going to do is we're going to take the pineapple out of here. We're going to cut around the core and we're going to dice it sideways because the core is hard to get out if you don't. I use a back cut Wistoff knife. It kind of gets me where I can just go around here. Real important not to cut through the outside of the pineapple because if you do, it's going to leak. All your juices are going to leak out as you cook it. You're going to save as much of the pineapple as you can without getting the core. Make sure you don't get the core because it's pretty pretty bad taste when you hit something that hard. So I'm going to cut right straight down here. Cut right straight down here. I'm going to take my big knife and I'm going to go ahead and cut this three, three times. This is where you cut through the bottom if you're not real careful. Oop. This pineapple on the outside I want to save. I'm coming down through the bottom of it. This is a. This is probably the hardest part of doing this. You just don't want to get in a hurry because you don't want to cut through that bottom. Then you got to put it in aluminum foil or something. Not a very good appearance. Okay, and this now I'm going to get the core out. You're not going to get enough pineapple off this to to make a good presentation. So what you need to do is buy a couple bags of frozen pineapple. It's not quite as good as the fresh, but without wasting a bunch of pineapples, that's what you got to do. So now I got the core out. I'm going to take and try to carve this out a little bit more. Get it hollowed out. So I've saved most of that pineapple in there and I've broken loose so people can 
get it out with the toothpick. I'm going to take this pineapple that I have that's good and get it into smaller pieces. Start piling it in there. As soon as we get that done, I'm going to put some more pineapple on it and put it on the smoker and start saucing. About every 20 minutes you can sauce, cook about 250 degrees. <laughs> if you want, you can lace it with some peppers. Usually, uh, use a different colors to usually not a yellow pepper because you want to break up the color. Just pile it as high as you can. That's the pineapple. The pineapple right here. We're ready to go to the smoker with it. We're going to smoke it for a couple hours. We're going to baste it with the sauce every 30 minutes. Put it on there right beside our wings and our fatty. Try to keep the stem where it doesn't get shut in the lid. And we're going to start applying our rum sauce. Cook that for about an hour, and we'll sauce it every half an hour, and then we'll see how it's looking.